My name is Kanan Clayton, I'm 14 years old, and in this video, I'm going to share a little bit about the history of saws, and then I'm going to demonstrate how to saw. The earliest known saws were dated from 4900 BC to 4700 BC in the prehistoric and Mesolithic periods. These saws had small teeth and were made mainly of rock. However, uh, other materials were used. Even shark teeth were used. Egyptian saws around this time were made of bronze, copper, and sometimes, yet rarely, iron. Saw technology greatly increased around 1200 BC. Uh, the teeth were made larger, and uh, not only that, but saw technology increased with how they made the saw itself. During the Iron Age, saw technology increased even more. That's when the Romans improved and learned from the Egyptians and how the Egyptians made their saws. At the same time, they started shaping the teeth of the saws differently so that they would cut better and easier or be used for specific tasks. Around 450 AD to 1775 AD, different saws like the back saw, hand saw, and, and frame saw were introduced. In 1775, the British played a part to influence the advancement of saws. By this time, most of the saws that were used were pull saws, which meant that they cut when you pulled back on them instead of when you push forward on them. But the medieval times changed that. So during the medieval times, the push saw was introduced, which means that it cuts, obviously, when you push it. Also during the medieval times, sawmills were introduced, and most sawmills were run by wind, water, and sometimes treadmills. These sawmills helped to mass produce lumber and made labor much easier. Around the 1500s, sawmills advanced, and by the 18th and 19th century, they for saws formed into what they are today. Obviously, this, the discovery of electricity greatly increased saw technology as we know it. In fact, the majority of saws that we use today are not run by men, but instead by electricity. Now, let's go outside and I'll show you how to saw. Alright, so I have my piece of wood right here. I have it clamped with this clamp right here. I'm using a saw horse to cut on because I can't use my mom's dining room table. And I've marked the wood with my marking gauge and gone over it with a pencil so that it's easier to see because when you're sawing, you want to be able to see what you're cutting. So, before I show you what to do, I'm going to show you what not to do. So, you don't want to hold the saw with a very tight grip like this. Doing this and uh, making short, choppy cuts will not cut the wood very well. Instead, you'll want to have a nice, loose grip on it with one hand, uh, fingers pointing forward. Now, when you are sawing, it's actually okay to put your other hand right here as a guide so that you can uh, so that you can put your saw on this line and just go right along nice and loosely but obviously be careful you don't want to put it too close or uh, pick up the saw when you're cutting. Now uh, if you're right handed you're going to put your left foot forward and place the saw on your line. If you're left handed put your right foot forward but I am right handed so I'm going to do this and put my hand right here as a guide. Now, nice and loose right here with my hand. Really what you wanna do, don't press down. Pressing down will actually not cut it uh, near as well, near as fast. So you're just going to set it down and just cut it really, really soft. Now, you might find that it's hard to uh, start cutting. It's probably because you have the saw all the way down on it you want to start sawing with as little of the teeth on the piece of wood as possible starting with it. So, so start it like that and then once you get that going, you place your thumb there, then it should start cutting really, really easy. And if, it, if you get stuck in a hard spot, uh, don't try to just shove through it, you're going to get off. No. Piece of wood when you're starting out 
which is not good. You want to start sawing with as much or as little teeth of the saw on the piece of wood as you can if it's hard to get started. So I'm just going to put it right here, start sawing, and then pretty soon get it going nice, nice and easily, still using your thumb as a guide. Now, if I wanted to cut the, uh, the top piece of this wood right, right here, I would do something similar to what I'm doing now. So I would place the wood just like I had it, and I would, uh, I would clamp it, but then I'd use the tip of the saw to cut a nice groove right along here. And once I had that groove in there nicely, then i turn it to the other side and i do the same thing. And then I could start cutting without my saw getting off track. Now another thing, because your saw will get off track, it may seem weird to when you're holding it because you're not looking at it right down the center, but it's actually best if you, uh, when you can see all of this side of the saw, you don't want to be holding it at this angle. That's uh, what will happen a lot of the time when you start going is that you'll just, you'll start going at the wrong angle. So it's okay to even overcorrect yourself because eventually you'll just fall back into this. So I hope you learned a lot from this video and remember, don't cut yourself.